Dora. Hi, I'm Raya. Hi, I'm Maisie. Welcome, welcome to Rayon and Maisie TV. Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video with us. Today we are unboxing Twitter Head Superman Market. And this one's 1,063 of 2,500. One six go. From our friends at Pop Culture. So here we are, Superman. I like how they do that. Protects the corners. Yep. The shipper box did get damaged. So we'll yeah. see if there was any damage to the art box. Whoa. We seem to get every nice art box. Look at that. In the front. That's a really nice logo. Can I have a feel? Oh, I, I thought it might be a 3D or something. Fortress of Solitude. You can definitely tell who's in this box. <laughs> We'll be just going away. See what we got. So this is one six scale. One six scale. Everything seems to be in one piece. So this is the Clippers edition. Comes with two hit sculpts. Wow, look at the base. That's a decent oh, weight to it. So pretty. Oh, so I like the bottom of the base. Of 2500. So and nice. I believe they believe that they made 500 of the exclusive. And also, this is a Fortress of Solitude base. They also made 200 of the black version. Which, oh, did they? Which I just missed out on. Oh, really? Unfortunately, I was wanting one black and one All red, sold out. All sold out. Mm. So, surprisingly enough, we actually own quite a few Superman pieces, but we don't have any that has a Fortress of Solitude base. So I know this concept has been done a lot, but this is our actually first Superman that will have this particular sort of a base. So, this is exciting. nice. So neatly done. Take out the body itself. Is it heavy? Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, it's nothing too crazy. I think it's easy to assemble, right? Should be easy to assemble. There's only that and then the two hit sculpts. So that's all one piece. And its cape is flying in the air a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Neat paint job. Good sculpt, neat paint job. I know some people have been um, complaining about there seems to be some overspray in the middle part of the of the symbol. I mean, it looks fine to me. I mean, you've got to be really looking at it to notice mm. it. But no, I think this is a fantastic statue. It is. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just clear it in now. Keep them just like that. There you go. Nice and easy. Cool. Okay, you get two head sculpts. Oh, we get two options. Two. Um, in the uh, and the collectors, I'm sorry, the exclusive edition, you actually get four head sculpts. So that's your traditional Superman, and that's sort of the long hair Superman. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, in the, um, was it the exclusive, you get these two, but then you get these two again, but with the red eyes. 
Oh, okay. Um, I did have a look at that. I, I missed out, but I actually do think I'm going to be displaying them with either one of these most of the time anyway, so. We can always switch. I like them both, actually. Well, that's your more traditional. Yeah. With the locks. It's got a bit of the bodysuit here. What about this one? Yep, same. Traditional, let's go first. There we go. That's very cool, eh? It does. Should we switch it over? Mm -hmm. Both head sculpts are done extremely well. Yep. The paint job they've done is mm. really good. Oh, even this looks good. I know, they both look just as good as each other. Yep. Which one do you guys think we should display? I do see myself switching these out. Yeah, I know. I think both of them yeah. are good. We're very pleased. And Twitter Head is quietly becoming one of our favorite companies. We own a few pieces from them now, and I've got a few on PO as well. Which one do you want to put on there? You want to put that one? Uh, I think I'll initially start displaying it with the traditional, but definitely we'll be keeping this close by and swapping it over. Well, I think that'll be the look for now. Yep. So well sculpted. Paint job is done well. Very neat paint job actually. I like the base. We don't have like I said, yep. a fortress of solitude base, so glad to have one of those. And the cape, it's got a good of a flowing effect. Again sculpted very well. Even his symbols yeah. done nicely at the back mm. as well. And if you want to be picky, you could you, you could uh, you could have done with some texturing on the cape, but look for the price point. You gotta can't beat it. We got a pretty good deal on this. And yet that face is one of the best I've seen so far on the Superman piece. Yep. I think the box really stands out too. This looks so cool. I love it. bit of frown on this face. It kind of looks tall for a 1-6 scale, I think because of the base. The base gives it a bit of a height. It measures about 20 inches. Okay. Which is almost, yes, pretty in line with sort of quarter scale size. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave your comments and see you in the next one.